In this video, we're gonna talk about three specific ways that you can get more out of your ads. It doesn't matter if it's Facebook ads or Google ads or wherever you're running your ads, it doesn't matter. You're going to be able to use these three principles or strategies to grow your business and get better results. So let's get into today's video. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Bershears. I do digital marketing as an agency, so I'm running ads all the time. If you're looking to grow your brand or your business, I create a daily marketing video here on this channel. So please consider subscribing. I don't have a Lamborghini, but I do a lot of ads and I do a lot of marketing. So be sure to hit that like button if you enjoy the video. Comment below if you have any questions. And please, um, if you ever have anything that you need help with, just comment below, happy to help out. So let's talk about ads. Ads, especially if you're starting out and you're new, I see a lot of um, business owners, they get really excited about their offer or starting you know, promotions that they get an idea for, and it makes sense. They're excited to get going, but they don't do the pre-work that they need to do. So we're gonna talk about three specific settings that you're gonna wanna make sure you have dialed in so that you can get the most out of your ads. So let's talk about the first one. Number one is day parting. It is extremely important that if you have a business that requires closing on the phone or an appointment to be set up, if you don't have those things set up automatically, you need to make sure that your ads are not running at times of the day that are inappropriate. So for example, if you're Pizza Hut, it's probably not a good idea to be running display ads in the morning. It might be good, it depends on you know what the results are, but if you're not actually able to take orders for that product, then it's not gonna make sense to be running ads for it, especially with search ads. If your business is not open and you're actively getting clicks and traffic to your website during times of the day where people can't do business with you, it doesn't make sense. So you need to make sure when should you be running ads? It doesn't matter what network you're on and, and what is it that, that you're trying to accomplish and does it make sense to be running ads 24 seven? If you have a business that has automation set up, again, it makes total sense to do that if you're selling a product that's like an e-commerce product. But if you're a service product like a dentist or um, a loan officer or a realtor, if you don't have the ability to take and field a call and make an appointment right away, then don't run those ads because you're just gonna be wasting your money. Be far smarter to run ads when somebody can answer the phone and actually take the call and, and book the client to come into your business. So make sure that you're day parting. It's a very simple setting. You can do it in both in Facebook and AdWords and pretty much everywhere else. So make sure that you're running ads only at appropriate times. That's number one. Number two, don't do automatic placements. Every single ad network tries to force the newbies into using automatic placements. This means that they automatically will put your ads everywhere there is a space for it. So with Google AdWords, you have search partners. If you're doing search network ads, they put your ads on search partners. So that means like somebody's on, let's say a certain like dog training website and they're looking for um, veterinary related type items. If you have a broad match search, you're gonna show up in that. You don't want that. They're not actually searching for your product. And so you're gonna get a lot of wasted clicks. You also have a higher chance of click fraud is what I've seen too with clients. So be sure that you're not using search partners if you're looking to do search ads. So that's the automatic placements that they try to force you into. Same thing goes with display ads. They try to put your search ads into display. It doesn't look good, it doesn't look right, it doesn't work out. If you have a limited budget, display ads to try to generate clients is not typically a good way to do it. It takes a lot of branding, a lot of remarketing, and some really heavy strategies that are going to be difficult to set up. So just don't be running those automatic placements. On Facebook, it's just as bad. You have right-hand column ads, newsfeed ads, messenger ads, um, their, their partner ads, which are like their apps and stuff, instant experience ads. All of these things don't look good, especially if you're creating one specific ad set and using one creative and then pushing that across all of these different placements. It doesn't work out well. And what ends up happening is you're wasting your ad spend because you should be really targeting one of the specific kinds of ads that you can run. You wanna make sure that the ad is optimized for its placement, that it looks good, that it looks right, and everything is working out properly. So make sure that you don't have on the, on the beginning, you don't have the automatic placements pushed because it's gonna be a tremendous waste of money for you. And the last setting that you're gonna to wanna to make sure to do is convert, um, optimize for the proper conversion event. So on Google, for example, they're going to try to push you automatically into setting up a conversion event um, as the, the primary objective of the campaign. But if you have a smaller budget, that's not a good idea. With conversion optimized campaigns, you wanna make sure that you have enough pixel data to really optimize that campaign for what you're going for. 
So typically if you're starting off in Google, you wanna make sure that you're optimizing for clicks in the beginning and just trying to get as much traffic that is going to work out for you. And then and once you start to get enough data with Google's AdWords, it's specifically about 15 conversions per day. And then on Facebook, if you're doing conversions, the standard conversion events, you need about 50 of those conversion events per week to get enough data into the pixel. So if you don't have that, then optimizing for landing page views or clicks is a better option. So don't just go into you know whatever setting that they say, actually think about what is it that you're trying to do? Are you going to be able to push enough traffic and conversions through your pixel to make sure that you have enough data to really make it work and to begin to be optimized? Because chances are, if you don't have enough data for that, it's not gonna work out very well for you. So I hope that this made sense. If you need help with anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. I make daily marketing videos here, as I mentioned. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe and have a fantastic day. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.